what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome your faces back to another episode of let's factory factorial and today i think today is the day i think today we're gonna actually make the rocket silo and launch our very first rocket which means this is the end of the series of course the final episode so i've been doing a lot of stuff in between episodes i made a fully new landfill automation over here at this stone factory or the stone patch over here there's a bunch of landfill i also preparing for this episode automated the tier two assembling machines it's just basically some green circuits some copper wire and some gears and same thing over here except with steel and the which i'm gonna call it guys here the tier one assemblers so yeah we've got a bunch of tier two assemblers now which we're gonna go ahead and need and one of the things that i've been doing in between episodes i went ahead and collected a bunch of stuff for the rocket silo so i went ahead and collected the steel the blue circuit the electric motors and today my plan plan is to go ahead and obviously finish the game but also we need to do a few things right so first things first we're gonna need to make some concrete which is gonna be very important so let's start off with the miners i don't actually know if i'm gonna actually need those or not so i'm just gonna do my best here and we're gonna start with four electric furnaces if we can so one two three and four and then what i'm gonna do i guess oh well i guess it's down here so what i'll do to make this easier on ourselves here is i'm going to build it right down here instead and this should be more than fine i don't know if i can actually split off down here i can okay cool and then this should be a very simple and easy form all we need to go ahead and do is take the electric furnaces like so and do a little bit of this this and this it is a or boy which is nice and then let's go ahead and insert insert do something like that and i guess we're gonna have to bring it that way so we're gonna have to do some weird sketchy jank stuff anyway so yeah with the stone factory built i think we're gonna need some water as well so i'm gonna figure out how i'm gonna run that across and guess what we don't have we don't have power poles i should really invest in making some power poles honestly like this is getting to the point where it's actually kind of like ridiculous that we don't have power poles okay now that we have the brick all we need to do i believe is get some iron ore down here that's not ideal how am i meant to get iron ore over here do i have a iron patch relatively close that's way too far uh i mean we do it's down here but i guess so it's only a single miner too i guess we can do that now that is what we call a jank ass belt holy hell that is insane okay so for this next part of the build we're gonna need seven or not seven we're gonna need at least three offshore pumps right because we need i believe three thousand water so i need to figure out exactly how i'm gonna do this so for concrete we're gonna need to set up something like this so i think what we'll do is we'll set up eight factories worth that might be worth it i don't know if we're gonna produce enough stuff quote unquote i mean i guess we'll quickly find out right okay and then i've got the pipes figured out out i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have this go into three tanks and then that should be good enough to go ahead and get this to work properly so if i do three offshore pumps like so and then we run some pipes like so we should be able to just plop these guys these bad boys in like so and then get these guys all plugged up like so and then we'll run some more piping like so and then of course get these all connected connected now i'm going to bring this guy down and over like so now this is going to be a little jank but that's okay and then yes these are all connected which means we can run these pipelines i guess straight up like so this one's going to be a little jank so we'll do something like this and then that now i'm actually a bit concerned how am i going to get the items out of here because long boys actually long boys can go 
out like so i didn't think that this would work this way but it does look like long boys can go like this and then that should be fine we are gonna need a little bit more of a long boy for each one of these as well and then that should be fine fine and then get those short boys as well get those guys connected and then this should be a decent amount of concrete coming in actually now that i think about it which is nice let me grab some power poles this should be a relatively easy and simple setup i don't know exactly how i'm gonna do this but that seems to be fine yes and then you're just gonna get logged in over here let's also make sure that we get the belt connected like so and then that's gonna go into a two to one like always we love our two to ones there we go and i somehow missed that because i'm an idiot oops what did i just do i think i just disconnect power on accident and you're also missing because i'm an idiot there you go and there is your a thousand concrete and i'm just gonna grab a quick inserter like so and we're just gonna fill a steel chest full of concrete and that should be fine because i don't think i need concrete for anything else at the moment other than that so while that's doing that let's start working on the rocket fuel setup so that's gonna need five chemical plants you know what while i'm at it let me quickly throw some stuff away okay so getting started with the solid fuel what we're gonna need is five chemical plants and then we're gonna do something like this i actually don't know how this works so solid fuel is gonna go okay so we need lube for that or light oil okay yeah so we're gonna want this facing the other direction so we need okay it's just straight up light oil and then what we'll do is we'll just do something like so oh you know what this is our coming in pipe i don't know if that matters that actually might matter so there is our solid fuel like so i actually don't know how much solid fuel this is gonna make 150 per minute which is more than what this belt can support interestingly enough that might be a problem down the road but i guess i mean we'll find out right i mean it can't be that bad all right so there's our solid rocket fuel yeah, that's kind of what I was worried about, but we'll figure it out. So, oh, sorry, not solid rocket fuel. That is our um, solid fuel. So, we need that to go into 10 facilities. So, what I'm going to do is you're going to get turned up this way. And so, five of these on each side. That should be good. And your job is going to be to assemble rocket fuel on every side. And that's going to need a light oil of course and what we'll do okay i don't think these are pulling from the right thing so let me okay so yeah this will work just fine for now plus we need it to come this way and i need it you know what can i also do this i know this is weird but that should in theory work for a easy and quick and dirty setup of rocket fuel beautiful and then you of course get inserted like so and then these will do the whole same plan of the long boys coming out of these like so and then that's gonna go to a two to one like so well i didn't expect this to be this easy but i mean i am sort of a factorio i wouldn't call myself a pro but i do like building factories so maybe i am a pro i don't know let me know down in the comments down below i mean to be fair a pro would it probably have upgraded belts and stuff by now but honestly i'm just having a lot of fun it is just the pure idea of building a factory that makes me just Mm, feels so good all right there you go that should now be making rocket fuel good that is one component that we need down and then concrete obviously and then our next big project is going to be the rcus but let's get the rocket silo okay i think we're pretty much ready to go ahead and take and start making the what i'm gonna call it here the rocket silo i'm gonna need a thousand concrete i'm going to need 200 blue 
circuit chips, which I've already went ahead and collected. I believe I also happen to need 200 of the motors. So one, two, three, four, four stacks of those. And then we need two stacks of the blue guys. So one, two, and then we need a thousand steel which conveniently enough that's broken i'm gonna have to fix the blue chip circuit factory because uh i decided to attack the biters and i died and yeah it's just oh my god this factory is also broken over here i believe this one's also broken over oh my god dude they broke so much stuff it's so annoying and just like that we now have a thousand steel on us which means we can craft the rocket silo i didn't have pipes on me but that's fine i need to go ahead and go and fix our damn factory that's just not ideal now is it now that we have the rocket silo i think it's time that we start building out the next component parts which are going to be rcus and the i believe we're going to need the low density structures so we have to build another one of those farms okay so to get the rcus we're going to need the speed modules which means we're going to need red and green circuits which is going to be a whole fun thing so i need six wire facilities and four of the green circuit boys and you know what actually now that i think about it i think we can switch all of these to the tier twos because well we have the tier twos assemblers already fully automated so i think we can go ahead and tune these up to the blue circuits instead or the blue assemblers instead of the tier ones which is going to make this a little bit better we only need four copper facilities now which is better than you know six right i mean it's not that much better so we're gonna go ahead and make four copper wire facilities and then we'll go ahead and make the green circuit and it's all gonna be good in the hood and it's gonna be awesome i can't believe we've beaten this pack or this game in like seven episodes that's insanely fast and next we need another second copper facility which should be relatively easy to make like so and then that is gonna go into hopefully another factory i don't know exactly where these are going but they're going into somewhere let me make sure that i make my two to one splitter because of course gotta love those things i'm out of splitters again Jesus Christ, I'm always out of something, right? There we go. Your splitters, beautiful. And then those, are those going into more? Oh no, those wires are going into these. Okay, right. So I need to bring plastic up. I didn't, you know, make the plastic, but that's fine. That's going to be two of those. Oh God, how much of this am I going to need? Three oil refineries worth of that. That's fine. So let me get three oil refineries if i already don't have any i have two what am i missing steel of course i am let me go grab some steel from this bottom belt here that should be more than enough for one extra refinery i'm gonna need to bring in i believe some oil which means uh that's a really long distance i believe i have some more oil right over here hmm is it a far distance it might be here is my plan i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the oil processing down here because i really don't want to bring that across so i think what we'll do is we'll do it here we want petroleum gas all right we need to make sure that this is right facing the right direction and then i mean i'm still gonna have to run it across maybe actually no and then you're just gonna get your oil in like so you're gonna need a little bit of power but that's okay because i can solve that pretty easily and bam bam and you're good okay and now what we need to do is put that into two of the chemical plants and you know what we are gonna need coal for this i totally forgot that that's gonna need coal and i also don't have the thing so two of those and then oh i'm gonna have to like run some really jank undergrounds here where is it relative like right 
there. And I think if I play this smart, I want you to do this. Will you run across this many belts? No. So you gotta do more. You should run across this many belts now. Perfect. All right, there's your coal coming in. We need the chemical bath or chemical plants here designed to make plastic like so and then yeah you're fine and then what we'll do is have the belt come down this way and across this way and then you're gonna need your super long armed inserters i think i gotta go this way for this nope i gotta go up one make it a sushi belt that works for me and then that's plastic now that plastic is gonna get outputted onto a belt like so and to save up on space oh i wish i could go up that way i can probably go up that way if i'm careful do that way does that work that does work i wasn't expecting that to work honestly Dude, that's so jank but you know what it works and that's all that matters and i love how i'm gonna run a plastic line right through the middle of this, this main bus okay so plastic is gotten all right so we have the three main components to make red chips which two of them have to go on a single belt so you'll do something like that and then you will get combined like so this is going into 10 factories i probably don't need that many uh belts but so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then you're all gonna go into making i believe red chips yep that's why we need the plastic for and then hopefully we'll be good so you you we're gonna need a few more long boys I don't know if I have any more. I do have more apparently. Good. And then we're going to speed this up a little bit. Now that that's done, we'll put down our two to one splitter because of course we're going to have that. Dude, what is up with me and my two to ones? I love my two to ones. All right, that's making red circuits, which means we are one step closer to being able to make our rocket work. That's just the red chips. I now need a green chip factory to make the freaking speed modules. And that's just going to be two copper wire facilities. And now that we have the copper wire facility, all we got to do is build two of these. And that's going to make green circuits, of course. And we'll do the whole trick here. The long boy into the long boy into the short boy into the output like so and then literally one two three bob john clefania on we are done with that dude i've gotten so good at this now beautiful why aren't you crafting the so green circuits getting combined with red circuits all the way up here in probably a mountain of factories there we go because it didn't exist that's why that was weird and then, like I said, this is going to go into five factories. So one, two, three, four, five. I know it looks weird, but there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, unless if I want to go crazy, but I really don't want to for this. Your job is going to be the speed ones. And you're good now. And all you got to do is this, this, this. Make sure everyone's happy, happy chappies. And then once we do this, we are one step closer to getting what we want, which is AKA the <clears throat> rocket to launch. We are just that ever so close to getting this rocket to launch, which is so good. And just like that, we now have the blue circuit boys automated. Perfect. Now we are gonna need no, that, sorry, not blue circuits. The speed upgrades modules. Oh, we need more of these. Let's go ahead. Wait, what? I need 1,200 per minute? Wait, why do I need 1,200 per minute? Let's start with the red chips. I guess I do need 1,200 per minute. Okay, that's, that's fair. So let's come over here and let's chill out on this. And because we are putting a lot of stress on that as well so let's just do this let's go to the next one which is going to be down here 
and oh wait this is on this guy we want them to be on this one the blue one okay so it's seven factories instead of 10. that's a little better okay and then all we got to do is take that into four of the green boys which is not that thing why am i doing there we go perfect oh my god this is so tight it's gonna work though trust believe it's gonna fit and then this is good to go we're gonna need more plastic aren't we which is not ideal but we'll make it work somehow okay so we're gonna need to make more plastic which means i'm gonna have to bring more of this down because of course i am so i guess what we'll do is try and just like bring more of it down i didn't really want to have to but i'm gonna have to unfortunately so i'm gonna need underground where are my underground pipey boys there they are and then just bring over some oil into an oil refinery with some power of course like so and then that should be relatively simple and easy and then you're just gonna pop that in there you're gonna output that into a, another chemical plant like so and just one of those should do fine i am gonna need more of these of course and then i should be able to just do this across beautiful with a split boy like so bring that down and hopefully once we get our thing it should be really straight forward so the this guy plastic or petroleum with a long armed inserter inputting here like so and then also outputting as well the plastic oh i actually might be able to run this relatively easily oh is there enough room here i don't think there's enough room here no of course not so i gotta do some jank solution now this belt just got like super complicated for no reason like at all i don't have enough undergrounds i'm always running out of these undergrounds i need to uh i should automate it at this at, at this point like seriously like i'm using them so much like how many factories am i going into for this no way i'm going into six factories right no so these are going into red chips copper wire plastic and now this goes up here and that's gonna make the reds but why are we not producing plastic there you go it was just being funky and and that's going into how many factories or now that we actually figured it out we should be good now long boy long boy long boy long boy and then of course the short boys as well output output and then bam like so and now we just give you a little bit of power you're making red circuits i now just need to make a green circuit factory which means we're gonna need another five facilities of copper cable and just like that that is another copper facility another green circuit facility down the drain now that we have that we can now take these guys and bring them over here like so and we have those two things and the last thing that we need to do is get sulfuric acid over here which hopefully isn't gonna be too bad yeah no it's pretty good i'm gonna need sulfur more petroleum god damn it more petroleum okay so we are running some water currently go ahead and get our sulfuric acid plant or sulfur plant up and going like so this is gonna need a little bit of power and then i'm gonna run a belt this way this is gonna be a little jank i promise not too jank though and then up this way across here and what do we need for that oh and iron plates let me see what side this is gonna output on you're not getting water why did i not connect you i didn't connect you to the right line that's why you should now have all the water you ever need except you 
don't because you probably need a pump in between the systems here which maybe i don't know yeah there you go you're now making sulfur and we're gonna have to keep an eye on which way this is gonna go on the belt okay so it looks like i'm gonna have to do some sketchy stuff which is fine because i don't mind doing some sketchy stuff i believe all i gotta do is this and then bring this guy up like so and then wrap it around beautiful and then that and i believe we're gonna need some extra water coming in to another chemical plant if we can let me bring up some water it's a little sketch but it does work right if it works don't bother fixing it right and then that's gonna go into one plant like so and you're gonna go make me what was i trying to make again right the sulfuric acid that's what we're trying to make okay i need to rip you around and then i can do something very savage like this and then get our long boys like so and then there you go oh nope didn't connect it all the way beautiful and then you get yourself some of that and of course power all right that's all that now done which means i can finally make the blue circuit chip factory which is gonna be up here i need to figure out exactly how i'm gonna do this so one two three and four going into blue chips these gotta be on the outer side like so and how am i gonna split this into what i need that's a very good question okay because obviously pipes don't have splitter variants which is interesting but this should do the trick here i'm gonna pull it out one more i was gonna say well in fact we can do something like this maybe and then that should work really nicely and play really nicely with our our setup which is good blue circuits are on the up right now so you nope facing the wrong way i hate that it doesn't automatically rotate the stinking inserters based on which one you're trying to do because that would be such a nice mod and then of course we got to use the long boys to take stuff out because we don't have space to do what i want to do that's fine and then you're gonna do one two three four and then boom boom that's gonna come down here and you've got your blue circuits now i need one more and then you're all set now to go ahead and make the blue boys all right blue circuits are now done we gotta go into 10 rcu factories with the speed modules which means uh wait which one do i want to bring over i think i'll bring over these ones we are on the up and coming right now and what i think i'm gonna do is i'm um, wait am i actually out of blue assemblers i'm actually out of blue assemblers holy heck but that's okay because i think we have more down here somewhere i mean we should in theory have more because i made a ton all right give me a hundred more and then you're gonna go into 10 lovely little factories oh and it's super good because guess what they're all on the same freaking belt so i can do some really nice lean setup i can't believe man we're already at the end of the series we're already getting ready to launch our very first rocket we've used a lot of two to ones in this series a lot of two to ones and then this is going into rcus yep we are making rcus ladies and gentlemen the last step according to the rocket silo is we're gonna need a low density structures so i'm thinking how bad would it be for us to make low density structures at 30 per minute so one red belt worth per minute that is gonna be 10 or 14 of those that's honestly not even that 
bad. Like the only thing that we realistically need to craft here is probably the plastic and that's really it. And that's not even that bad. Okay, so let's get three more oil refineries. One, two, three. I'm going to do this all down here and then bring them up. Okay, I want to take some steel really quickly and split it off like that. Oh my god, dude, this is so jank. There you go. Your steel is now coming in like so with the plastic, of course. And then we're going to need some copper split off. So I think the best way to do that is going to be using the bottom copper because i'm not sure which one we haven't used in a while so i guess we'll use this one i think that's going to be a really good idea here so let me grab this line of copper like so and then that is going to be everything that we need for the lds's essentially so it will be one two three four and then that's six lds lines which is a lot of lds i'm hoping that we have everything that we need to be able to actually make this because this is a lot to be fair but and we're also going a very very long distance with this guy so i'm hoping that we have everything to do this which i mean we should i mean we're like right there on the cusp of being able to launch our very first rocket and just like that we should be able to go ahead and power this bad boy on oh boy i missed a couple of inserters whoopsie oh yeah look at the amount of lds coming in take this and you're gonna go i don't even know where you're going at this point yeah you're going somewhere there is your rcu production right there and now just need to bring Bring over the rocket fuel production and then bring this right over to the rcus one of these are going to have to share a belt which is going to be interesting i think we should make it be the rcus and the thing so that means i'm gonna have to take these move them over put a belt in between these two like that and then your rocket fuel will come up like that beautiful and now the lds's are going to start coming in and then all we have to do is place down our rocket silo like so we might as well get a couple of stack inserters all righty let's go ahead and hook up these two stack inserters boom and boom and then would you look at that all we need to do is give this guy some power so bam 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 like that and now we're starting to build our rocket so with that being said i am going to time lapse this and we'll be back once we are ready to go ahead and launch our very first rocket
And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to go ahead and beat the game. We are going to go ahead and launch our very first rocket. With that being said, three, two, one, launch. Oh my God, this feels so freaking good. I can't believe it. We actually did it. This jank ass factory has launched its very first rocket would you look at that bada bing bada boom bob's your uncle i can't believe it we launched our first rocket that's so insane this this uh this bus has done us very very well would you look at that but with that being said guys we're now ready for the new dlc with that being said if you guys did enjoy this series please do me a huge favor smash that subscribe button ding down that notification bell become a part of the hunter tribe we're gonna have more series like this in the future as always guys i'm gonna love you i'm gonna leave you till next time Bye bye